A woman's injury from a local waxing salon could lead to new and tougher licensing. Following his consumer investigation, Channel 2's Jim Strickland has learned plans are already in the works. Jim? Jovita, after learning how a local woman was lacerated during a Brazilian wax, the state's top regulator told me of her plans to get tough on salons that violate the rules and to cut down on licensed technicians like the one we caught undercover. I'm sorry for, for Ms. Williams that she had to suffer, but I hope something good will come out of it. The chair of the cosmetology board spoke of the injury Alicia Williams suffered at Hair Images in DeKalb County. Williams had no idea of the salon's 20-year history of violations. What is it going to take for you all to either be shut down or either just do right? Someone who wants to violate the law is going to continue to do it until there's a deterrent that stops them, and that being criminal action taken against them. Kendrick wants the legislature to give salon regulators criminal enforcement powers. She also wants higher fines for the worst infractions. Lawmakers quietly cut the fines two years ago. But you believe the fining schedule, as it's written in the law now, is not a deterrent? Mm -mm. No, I don't think so. Despite the salon operator's denials, Hair Images got fined for this woman waxing with no license. She worked on our undercover producer, and Williams says she's the one who caused her injury. Kendrick wants to create a new license focused solely on waxing with easier qualifications. Our hope is that more people will do it legally and be better educated to do it safely than what we're seeing right now. Alicia Williams has a mediation hearing with the salon next week. Williams was among the more than 700 users who posted on our Facebook page about this story. The story reached more than 500,000 people on social. Question is whether any legislators were taking notice. Jovita. All right, Jim, thank you.